Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Have you ever played the game where you stick a description or a character on your forehead and then people will come up to you and give you clues and you're trying to guess what it is that's on your forehead? Uh, it's an icebreaker of sorts. Well, I thought of it this morning when I was talking to my sister-in-law, Rita. She called because she came across my blog and uh, with SSS Veda, which is video every day in the month of April, I've been doing the video and then I've been tossing it over on the blog. And she wasn't aware I had started reading the Bible and she has been reading it, I guess, for a long time. And she talked about how the Bible does speak to you. And I thought about what it has been saying to me and, and one of the things that jumped out at me is that I have been very arrogant. When I came across in the book of Daniel, the story of De Nebuchadnezzar, if you don't know King Nebuchadnezzar, he's the one that threw Daniel into the fire. But there is a part of Daniel's that talks about how arrogant and prideful Nebuchadnezzar was. He thought he was successful and had all of his money and his whole kingdom on his own. He didn't give God any credit for it. Well. God didn't want any part of that, and he smacked him down, and for seven years, Nebuchadnezzar lived with the animals. Eventually, he was forgiven, and he, his kingdom came back better than ever. Back in the day, I had a successful career, making a lot of money, mar successful marriage, and beautiful kids, and I took it all for granted, pretty much, and I kind of gave myself all the credit. I didn't specifically say it was my doing and God didn't have anything involved, but by not acknowledging God, I realized then, in fact, I was like Nebuchadnezzar, uh, that I did not give credit where credit was due. Then uh, the recession came, real estate went down the tubes, I had money issues because I was a bad steward, which is the other message that I get from reading the Bible and I can see how arrogant I was. And I think like Nebuchadnezzar, had I not been smacked down, I would still be in that mode of going through life thinking everything's great, because I believed in God, I believed in Jesus, there was no question there, but I really wasn't giving him the praise he deserved. So one of the things that comes out again and again to me in my first pass of the Bible is how arrogant and how God does not appreciate people who are arrogant. And from here on out, any success I have, I will give credit where credit is due. So I'm not going to forget that anymore. And hopefully, like Nebuchadnezzar, I'll come out of that seven-year wilderness period with a stronger kingdom than ever, and this time I'll be praising God for it. So until tomorrow, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Bye-bye.